we are dealing right now with the uh, potential approach of what we have, Hurricane Lisa, which is just about to make landfall in Belize. You are looking live in Hopkins, Belize. The rain is coming down, and within the next several hours is when we are expecting that landfall, and Lisa has strengthened rapidly over the past 24 hours or so, a pretty strong Category 1 hurricane at this time. And it's not just Hurricane Lisa that we're tracking. We also have two other areas in the Atlantic Basin that we are also tracking. So our activity, it's unusually high for this late in the season as we do have right now three areas that we're watching. So in the Atlantic, we've had three years with simultaneous November hurricanes. And in terms of really what we have watched, where we've been dealing with two storms at the same time, the last time that this has taken place was back in 2001. That's when we were dealing with Michelle and Noel. So it's been quite a few years since we have had two simultaneous systems taking place in the Atlantic, but that's what's going on currently as we speak. Hurricane Lisa, what has changed? Well, as of right now with this two o'clock advisory, winds coming in sustained at 80 miles per hour. Pressure sitting at 987 millibars. It's moving to the west at 14 miles per hour. And so when we consider what has changed, not a whole lot. This was the 11 a.m. advisory and look at our 2 p.m. advisory. So at least as of right now, we know for a fact that this system is going to make landfall. It's a category one. And what we'll be dealing with is the hurricane hunters heading into the storm to continue to survey what will be taking place because it's not just locations right along the coastline of Belize that will be feeling the effects. It's even into locations in the Yucatan Peninsula, Honduras, Guatemala. So we'll be watching as potentially dealing with kind of the system weakening over the next several hours after landfall, but really Guatemala into what we are mentioning, the Yucatan Peninsula and further to the to the west, that's where we could be dealing with the heavy rain, potentially storm surge up to seven feet and then widespread rainfall amounts about four to six inches. Some locations a little bit more than that up to 10 inches of rain meaning that flash flooding is going to be extremely devastating to many folks in the Caribbean and eventually we'll watch that system reemerge back into the, the southern Caribbean as we head into the weekend. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.